It's a beautiful Friday, 27th of May, 2022. Rebuke not an elder. Good to have you again. Mm -hmm. Say, rebuke not an elder. So um, we're reading from Proverbs chapter 30, mm -hmm. the 11 to 14 verse. There's a, there is a generation that cursed their father and does not bless their mother. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. Hmm. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes and their eyelids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are as swords and their jaw teeth as knives to devour the poor off from the earth and the needy from amongst men. What a generation. Bad, horrible. Because there's, there's no good thing said about the things that they do. Exactly. So I pray that that will not be us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Looking at our memory verse, First Timothy chapter 5, verse 1, it says it expressly, rebuke not an elder, Hello. but entreat him as a father and the younger men as, as brethren. So yes, you need to look at it i mean yes the elder could be your father already yeah. should, should be told, but yes most of the time um that disregard could be to somebody else who mm -hmm. is an elder but not necessarily your biological parent yes and this doesn't say uh, male or female elder is <laughs> whoever well. is elder yes so the, the gender is not also spoken of and to rebuke is not just to correct because yes elders can be wrong and yet that's what people sometimes feel like, you know, um, the reason why they believe they can actually correct. correct but yeah. It's yeah. okay to correct, but it is rebuke not, because rebuke is not necessarily just correcting. It is a sharp correction mm. where it is done sternly. And when it's done, you know, as a condemnation, you know, probably loud, probably in the presence of people, probably rudely. Rudely, yeah. yes. So when you look at all the words that uh, represent rebuke, you have punish, you mm -hmm. have castigate, mm -hmm. for example. So that should not be done to elders. Rather, or rather, they should be entreated as fathers. And that is important for all of us to know because, yes, it talks, our uh, Bible text talks about a generation that you know speaks rudely yeah. a generation that disregards some you know of these things based on all the things that we've read yeah. and um the woke generation uh, and, you know, <laughs> it always seems like uh, you know people always also just regard the preceding generation as well feeling like they don't know anything um, we are the one that are not technology survey or we're the one that know uh, what is happening in town we, we've got the internet now we have a whole lot of information or whatever uh, it is that gave people that right our memory verse today makes it clear that clear. we should not, not do that we should not yeah. do that very clear and very concise mm. then first timothy chapter 5 verse 7 says let the elders that rule well mm. be counted worthy of double honor mm. especially they who labor in the word and doctrine yeah 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 and it says double honor. Double honor. So we, we, with extra attention and care. Yes. Is what we should do. And especially those who labor in the word. So this also shows that your spiritual father, your pastors, um, now you can't feel like, oh, now I know the word of God. Oh, now I, I have encounters. So God speaks to me now um, for that reason. You begin to look down on all of the mm. things that they've taught mm. you over the years. That is not, not so. Well, you, they, you, they might have been, um, uh, you know, errors here and there. Yeah. We cannot actually rule that out completely. But it says, do not rebuke. Do not do it sharply. sharply. Do, do not um, rebuke them. Uh, do not disapprove them yeah. rudely. It's, it's quite and important. this generation that was talked about should be careful about mm -hmm. stuff like that. So action point says honor your elders. Yeah. Honor in words, in thought, and in action. Yeah. You know, not just honor by lips or by service mm -hmm. in words, in thoughts. In let even let your thoughts mm -hmm. honor them because God can read our thoughts actually so I, th I think with this we've been able to run through this yeah. and i pray that god will grant the woke generation and everyone else yeah. the wisdom to honor the elders in jesus name amen. for in jesus name we have prayed amen. amen this is quite an outstanding one yeah. and thank you for sharing